welcome to digital electronics uh, practical series so we'll be doing uh, the working of basic gates and uh, the use of NAND and NOR is universal gate so let us start with the basic gates so I can click here on uh, this is a multi sim software this is the simulator which can do uh, we, we can perform any practical using this so I click anywhere here and I get this option so I go to this uh, miscellaneous digital this is okay and I first of all select the NOT gate so this is the NOT gate okay. I put it okay now this is a NOT gate I need a power supply so I go in sources sources and uh, power sources I see here there is a VCC so I select this VCC I place it here then uh, I need a uh, to check the output for which I is indicator now in there are so many number of indicators so I use a probe see there are many number of probes so it is better to take a colored one so I take red so I put it here now uh, I need to turn it on and off now this power supply whatever we have is a it, it, it is a VCC it gives a 5 volt power supply so we need to turn it on and off so for that purpose we need a switch so we go to the basic okay basic here you can see switch and switch here SI DIP SW1 I select this SW1 okay this is okay now I just uh, do the connections so uh, left click drag okay this connections this connection is done and this connection is done okay now uh, we need to run this uh, particular software so here there is a run button okay so this is uh, open switch means zero so zero it becomes one for one it becomes zero okay so working of the NOT gate this is input input is zero okay when the uh, switch is open input is zero so for zero we have output this is blowing one and then this is off this is uh, then this is on okay on means input is one output is zero so that's how we check the working of a NOT gate okay now let us see the working of the AND gate now so we click anywhere here okay so miscellaneous digital then we take the uh, this go up AND2 we select it okay then uh, take the power supply sources we go to power supply VCC then uh, output we take indicator this is the indicator one output now we need switches so switches where we go to basic DIPSW1 okay. I place it here then I need one more I place it here and then I close it now I just need to do the connections so I put it here uh, left click then connect this connect this the first input is connected here the second input is connected here and this is connected here now we run the software so input is 0 0 output is 0 input is 0 1 output is 0 input is 1 0 again output is 0 when both are 1 output is 1 so this is how the AND gate works now let us check the working of a OR gate now here we get a simplicity right we can right click here okay and uh, you can see a replace component so we can replace the component so here uh, now I need a OR gate suppose I want to check OR gate so I will go here so here or it is an alphabetical order so or gate okay okay now it comes here now uh, I can run the okay run the program so this 0 0 is 0 0 1 is 1 then 1 0 is also 1 1 1 is 1 so this is how the working of the or gate similarly we can check the working of the other gates let us check the working of the XOR gate so replace component so here E or E or means XOR so here you can see EOR gate place it here so now it is XOR gate uh, I make it as 0 0 and then run the run this okay 0 0 is 0 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 1 and 1 1 is 0 okay same way we can check for XNOR also okay we can check the XNOR so I come here replace the component that uh, this is ENOR XNOR put it here okay. run so 0 0 is 1 1 0 is 0 0 1 is 0 and 1 1 is 1 so this is how the XNOR gate works then similarly we can check uh, now 
nor gate okay so here we have the nor gate nor two so we put it zero zero and uh, run so zero zero is one one zero is zero zero one is zero and one one is also zero okay so next uh, the last one uh, the nand gate we replace it by nand two okay. so now we run okay so zero zero is zero zero one is zero one zero is zero and one one is one one is zero okay so this is how the nand gate works now let us check the working of nand as universal so this is the nand gate inputs are shorted and we only have one input okay so i turn it on okay. so this is zero output is one when i make this as one output becomes zero so here we see nand is working as a nod gate now next is this is nand as and this we have used two nand gates uh, input two inputs are given to the first nand gate and the output is given to a shorted nand gate so now we see this particular assembly works as a AND gate. So uh, we run it. So zero zero is zero, zero one is also zero, one zero is also zero, and one one is one. So output of AND gate is one when both inputs are one, and this is working as a uh, AND. Gate. Next we see the working of OR gate. So we put uh, both input are zero 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 output is zero. Then for zero one, output is one. For one zero output is again one, and for one output is again one. So this is how this actually working is of a OR gate, while this NAND gates they are together working as a one OR gate. So we see this this three NAND gates they are working as a OR gate. So here we see the working of NAND as a NOR gate. So here we require four NAND gates, this two NAND gates, the third and the fourth one. So zero zero output is one. One zero output is zero, zero one output is zero, and one one output is zero. So the output of this entire all the gates is uh, high when both the inputs are zero zero, and that is what that is how the NOR gate works. So this is working as a this is NAND as NOR. Now here we see the working of a uh, NOR as universal. The first is a uh, NOR as NOT. So this is a NOR gate. Input are shorted. So input is zero, output is one. When input is one, output becomes zero. So this NOR gate is working as a NOT gate. Now here we have uh, here we have NOR as OR. So we have two NOR gates. Let us see the working. Inputs are zero zero, output is zero. Now we make uh, it as zero one. So output is one. Now if we make it as one zero, output is again one. And for one one, output is one. So this NOR gates, two NOR gates, they are working as if they are uh, OR gate. So this is NOR as OR. Now here we have three NOR gates. Okay, uh, let us see what they are working like. So they, they will work like a NOR as AND gate. So this this assembly will work as a AND gate. Let us see zero zero input, output is zero, zero one output is zero, one zero output is zero, and for one one output becomes one. So out input is one one, output is one, and rest all is zero. Is how a AND gate works. So this is NOR as AND. So here we have uh, four NOR gates, and we'll see they are working as a NAND gate. So input are zero zero, output is one. For zero one, output is one. For one zero, output is again one, and for one one, output becomes zero. So this uh, is acting as this four NOR gates. They are acting as they are a NAND gate. So this is NOR as NAND.